Hey folks, I just wanted to show you something that really disturbs me. Take a look at this. It's this tree. A beautiful eastern hemlock. One of my favorite trees. Let's take a closer look. This is a very old tree. I would guess maybe 120 years old. It's at least three feet across at the base. Look at that tangle of branches. Imagine how many animals could take advantage of this tree, especially wild turkeys and other birds that would like to roost high in the limbs. Not only that, it provides a really nice umbrella effect or taking shelter under the tree in a rainstorm. Taking a closer look at this tree, you can see how the roots flare out like buttresses at the bottom. Giant roots. Countless birds have nested in this tree, but they're not going to for much longer. This tree is going to die. This tree is dying. It's not dying because it's going to be cut down. These may very well be the last cones this tree ever produces. Why? What's killing this tree? Right here. See these tiny white puffballs? Those are the hemlock woolly adelgid. And they're covering this tree all over it. Almost everywhere you look. The hemlock woolly adelgid is similar to aphids in that it sucks the sap from the tree, drinks the sap. Now one or two don't bother the tree at all, but one or two billion, it would be a different story. Your blood would quickly be drained and you would become weakened and then you would die. It's exactly what's happening to all of the hemlock trees. They're all dying. In some places they've all died. This tree is not healthy at all. It's very sick. You can tell because it's starting to take on a gray coloration. As they die their needles fall and you can see their limbs more and you can see the adelgid more and they start to look grayish white. And then when they finally die they're just like a, a ghost. A standing dead tree. No needles. I'm looking at another tree just about 50 yards away. Look at them. Just feasting on this ancient tree. Now if you have hemlock trees, you can save them by treating them with insecticides. But it's extremely expensive. There's also a small beetle that will devour the adelgid. The problem is the beetles cost money also. Not everybody has an unlimited bank to where they can just dump money into the ground in the form of insecticides that don't always work. How did this bug get here? Well, man brought it, of course. The hemlock woolly adelgid has been in this country since the 1920s. Botanists think it came from Asia. Probably on ornamental trees.
this tree isn't going to live very much longer at all. And it's probably only about 20 years old, but it's absolutely covered. It would be as if you or I were covered with millions upon millions of fleas or ticks. You wouldn't live very long, would you? They're all over this tree. In the year 2000, I took my nephew up into the forest near where I was living at the time, near Boone, North Carolina, and had him sit down under a huge hemlock just like this one. That was before the Adelgid had made it to this area. The trees were very healthy, the forest was healthy, and I told him, I said, lay back on your, on your back and look up through the limbs and, and get to know this tree, remember this tree because before long, they'll all be gone. And I asked him the other day if he remembered that. And, I, and he said he did. Hopefully he will always remember the hemlocks. Unless scientists can do something, unless they can figure out a way to stop this critter from killing these trees, then there will be no more hemlocks. Just as the American chestnut is gone from the forest, so too will the hemlock. It's going to disappear. And it's happening like wildfire. So go out into the forest and find a hemlock tree before they're gone. Maybe your last chance. Just want to show you one last hemlock. It is absolutely covered in adelgid. This is just so sad. I love these trees and I hate to see that they're all sick and dying because of something that mankind has done. I leave you with this thought. What is the forest going to be like without the hemlock? And what is it going to do to the balance of nature when all the hemlocks are gone?